Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you Smart Segments. Smart Segments is a really powerful feature within Nansen that allows you to group wallets based on criteria that you set. To find it, go to the sidebar and click on Smart Segments. As you can imagine, to create your own segment, you just need to go to New Segment. You can see all the different criteria that we have within Smart Segments here on the Add Condition sector, ranging from holding tokens to holding NFTs, and you can also exclude labels. I think excluding labels is a really powerful tool to use after you set the initial segment so that you can kind of curate it to find really interesting addresses. For this example, I'm going to look into AI as a wider trend, and I'm going to just pick out a few tokens in the AI sector uh, to see what they're holding, what these addresses are holding, what else they're holding, and um, go from there. So we'll go to Holds Token and go to Fet. I'm going to set a minimum amount of $5,000 because I want addresses that are a bit chunkier. And then I'm also going to go to Render which we can find here. And again, I'm going to set 5,000 as the limit. So what we're going to do now is just generate the segment. And this will bring all the addresses that meet this criteria at this point now. You can set dates to right, create different date ranges so you can find addresses that meet this criteria over a specific time period, maybe before the, the um, AI narrative started to pump. Um, but for this sim example, I'm just going to do keep it very, very simple. So what you can see here is a bunch of exchanges and contracts. This isn't as useful as I'd like it to be because I'm really interested in individual addresses that are catching narratives and that are making money. Binance isn't going to do that because they're an exchange. So I'm going to go again to add condition. I'm going to exclude label. And I'm going to go to contract, exchange, and MUV. Then I'll just save that and it's going to update again. And so while this data is loading, um, we can now start seeing these interesting addresses come through. We see millions and millions and millions and millions. And so I have so many addresses right now. I think the criteria that I've set needs to be changed. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change the amount here. So I'm going to say that because it's a over a billion dollars fully dilated market cap, I'm going to go to $15,000 here. And so this is a really new feature that we added into segments to make it really easy, is that you can just adjust the criteria within there. And then bomb, we can adjust it without having to leave the smart segment you've created. So this is a point that we want to really emphasize when it comes to smart segments, is that when you're curating your group of wallets, you can keep playing around with conditions to find something that's more interesting. So we've managed to dial it down again, and we found that there's render. So what I'm also going to say is I'm going to look into an interesting token, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to use the meme token Pepe. And I'm going to set a minimum amount of $1 and see if there's any interesting addresses here. I'm choosing Pepe because I want to see AI narratives and also if they're holding any meme coins. And the reason I'm doing that is to see how hot they are onto trends. The way that I use smart segments is I often use it to try and catch trends. So whether it's the AI side of things, meme coins, and I can group these addresses. And then what we have is an interesting feature called um, smart segment profile, which bundles all these addresses together and then you can see exactly what they're holding. So as you can see here, the wallets matching this criteria is now only 141. This could be quite actionable. So what I'm gonna do is flip, quickly flip through these and see if there's any interesting addresses. Already we can see smart money, and we can see the net worth and also some of the work labels. So we can see a degenerate rollbit depositor. So maybe this is something that's quite interesting. So you know what, after flicking through this, I'm gonna say, yeah, the criteria here in this smart segment is really interesting. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to do name it something called it AI meme coin trend. And then we give it a description so I remember what this is for. So addresses that capture AI and meme coins. And press save. So what you'll see now is that the status of this segment is been preparing, and then you'll see it soon turn to ready. And so while we wait for that, we're going to go to Smart Segment Profiler. You can see this here. And now all this does, it combines all the addresses that we set based on the criteria. And you can see that criteria here. And if you wish to adjust it, you can just manage the segment here. So of these 141 addresses, we can see in the past month, their performance, their top tokens. And let's see if we can find anything interesting. So what we can see here is the top token on Ethereum is this token XCHNG. We can see SHIB, we can see ETH, we can see Link, and we can see other interesting tokens. How does this look when we look at all the chains that NASA supports at the time of this video?
we can still see that ETH tokens remain to be the dominant ones here. So we're going to see meme tokens, we can see the AI tokens here, we see some gaming tokens, another AI token. And from here, we can just start filtering through to see if we find anything interesting. Toshi, which is a base meme coin, is up here. So maybe there are some addresses here that are buying this token. And we're going to start seeing how diverse these, these addresses are. So maybe there's something here that's quite actionable. We can see the biggest wallets in here. We can see the counterparties. So this would be the addresses that these addresses are interacting with. Maybe the, these addresses that have been engaged with the meme coins also have other addresses. So there's a wider section of basket of addresses. We, we can also see transactions and layout filters. And these transactions that we see right now within the smart segment profiler will be based on all the addresses. So we can see maybe the most active and least active. And so while we wait for that to wait, I think this is a really interesting feature, especially within smart segments, because when you can start seeing these addresses in real time, making transactions, we can then take a look into them and see what they're doing. And then from there, what I like to do is then set custom labels or smart alerts on these addresses so I can stay updated with what they're doing in real time. So for this, I'm going to go to Ethereum. And then I'm going to look at these trades. So the time of doing this video, the AI narrative is popping off. So I'm really interested in seeing what are there any addresses buying or selling AI tokens. So as we can see here, there's an address that's moving some of this render to Bybit. If I'm looking at some more tokens, we're seeing that there's a transfer here, which is interesting. But you know what? The, the value of these transfers are varying. And I'm really interested in the big transactions here. So I'm going to go to value, minimum value of $5,000. Now I can see all the juicy stuff. And so as you can see, there's loads of transactions happening in real time. We're seeing some active addresses moving funds to Binance or Bybit. So let's just take a look and see what this address is doing. So what we can do is go through these addresses. We can right click and then we can go to work profile for token to see the wallet's activity with um, the token. And just using this as an example, we can try and find the address. So I've gone to this active millionaire and we can see that they'd be sending funds to Bybit, Binance and Bybit. We can see their cost base is up 85%. We can see that they're slowly reducing the position here. And so this might be a really good indicator for me if I hold the token. So what I'm going to do here would be to add the address to my watch list. I'm going to say an active ETH millionaire. The labels here, I'm going to put the segment as the label. So that would be AI slash meme coin. And then because the token that they're looking into is render, I'm going to save that as a label as well. I'll add that address to my watch list. So if I were to look at render holdings, I can see the who bought, who sold, or activity. I can see these custom labels within uh, Nansen and recognize that this address is an address that I previously uh, looked into. I've set some labels, and I can stay updated with it. So that's just one way that you can use smart segments. The beauty of smart segments as a feature is that it allows you to curate your own alpha and then take that alpha for you to do some research, find interesting addresses, find trends, and get an edge in the market. If you have any questions about how to use smart segments, reach out to us on Twitter or email us at support at Nansen.ai.